430 bad news today if you're hoping for big tax breaks because of the state's surplus. A panel of experts has reduced that surplus by hundreds of millions of dollars. And as Daryl Huff reports, the State Revenue Council based its decision on the state of the economy. Big infrastructure projects like this one are employing a lot of people and moving a lot of money through the economy. But other aspects of the economy are not doing so well, and that's what caused the Council of Revenues to scrape a billion dollars off the state surplus. Because we've got no, we don't have any job growth in our, in our forecast next year. We have, or we have very limited job growth. The panel of top economists cited a lot of factors in projecting a slower economy and tax collections, including delays in the rebound of Asian tourism, backlogged building permits for private construction, and inflation and high interest rates impacting consumers. I think that with strict um, purchase of people buying cars, people fixing up homes and, and, and whatever. And their predictions of falling fortunes for state government based on reduced revenue projections amount to over a billion dollars over the next three years and nearly three billion over the next seven years. We always anticipate that at some point tax revenue may decrease, so we need to be prepared for that. Legislative leaders must use the projections to write the state budget and decide whether tax relief proposals, like Governor Green's affordability plan, are affordable. I think the report simply shows that it won't be sustainable going forward and there'd have to be some difficult uh, cuts or decisions made in future budgets. Tax relief that does survive will likely be focused on lower income workers or for a limited time only. We'll probably see if we can uh, put sunset dates on them, meaning that they will be short term only. That the In the end, lawmakers are unlikely to raise taxes to make up the difference, but they have high hopes that the economy might recover enough to restore what's been lost to the state budget. Reporting from Kalihi, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.